coming up next from Milwaukee. Give it up for Ryan Mason, everybody. How's everybody doing? You made it. You made it. Give it up for yourselves. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I brought this beer all the way from backstage. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, I ate a moth recently. I ate a moth recently. I was at a bachelor party. People dared me. I ate a moth. It was not that bad uh, until the next day when I shit out a jacket with a bunch of holes in it. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Um, I drove down here all the way from Milwaukee, which was super exhausting. Uh, and I'm gonna, I want to talk about something that happened to me on my way down here. Uh, we had been driving for like 10 hours, and we got to a travel stop, and I learned something about the South when I, when I, when I was at this travel stop. Uh, and what happened was my fiance was there. She hates talking to people in public, right? Because she's from the North and she's normal. Um, and this little kid started coming up to us like he was going to be nice to us. And immediately fear strikes us because we don't want to talk to him. Right? And in that moment, this little kid came up to us. And because it had been snowing, he said, you know, gosh, I've just never seen it this bad. And my fiance looked at him like he was a fucking alien. Because what we both realized in that moment is that little boys in the South sound like 30-year-old gay men in the North. <laughs> like, he could have walked up to us and been like, what do y'all want to drink? Just sit anywhere you like. I'd be like, it's a fucking guy who works at Butch's. All right, cool. It's true. It's true. Uh, kids are weird, though. Like, I live in kind of a tough neighborhood, um, in Milwaukee, and I know it's tough. Here's, here's an example. There was a little kid walking my, down my street the other day, and he was crying. He was crying really hard. He was clutching a skateboard to his chest, and he was just going, oh, 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 and I was like, I got to help this kid out, you know? Like, I got to parent this kid a little bit. So I was like, oh, uh, hey, uh, hey, little man, is everything okay? And then he looked at me, and he said, fuck you! <laughs> so I put my cigarette out, and I beat the shit out of him. Don't start nothing, won't be nothing. Does anybody here live in like a tough neighborhood? None of you? Wow. All right. Give it up for yourselves for, you know, making enough money. We all got out the hood. Tell some jokes about it. Uh, no, I know I live in a tough neighborhood. I do. I'm starting to judge how tough my neighborhood is by how many grown ass men there are riding around on little girls' bikes. That is like the common sign that you're in a tough neighborhood. Like you'll lock eyes with one of these dudes, and you'll be like, is that a little girl's bike? And he'll look at you with that face that just says, do not ask me about this bike. This is my bike. Like I feel like eventually you're just gonna see a dude with a door of the Explorer backpack, pink onesie, full pigtails, and you'll be like, that's the hardest motherfucker I've ever seen, right there. Just beating up little girls. I have a kid, though. I have a child. Yeah, I'm a parent. That's right. It's awesome. Uh, I love being a parent. I was terrified when I found out I was going to be a parent, right? I was so used to going to the pharmacy and getting, like, a high five when I bought the uh, morning after pill. So that was cool. <laughs> but I have a child. Uh, I knew nothing. I'd never changed a diaper until uh, uh, after he was born. Like, I had uh, a rolled a burrito with leftover Chinese food, which is super similar just based on smell. Um, but now that he's out in the world, it, it's pretty cool. Like, he's, he's really cool. And if you have a child, it's neat because you think that your child is a reflection of you, right? And, and I, like to, I like to think that I'm a little bit tougher than I actually am. Like, I like to think I'm pretty thug, you know? Like, you guys see how I'm rolling up here? Like, I, feel, I like to think I'm pretty thug. Yeah, you're looking at me, you're like, that guy right there is pretty hard, yep. It's nice to get validation from, like, the drunkest woman in the audience. <laughs> I love you already. No, but it's true. Like, I think I'm a lot harder than I actually am. You know what I mean? So, like, it's fun to go up to my uh, fiancé's friends, and they'll be like, oh, we want to set up a play date uh, with your kid. We want to set up a play date. 
And then I get to look them right in the eye and say, oh, bitch, you didn't hear? He don't play. <laughs> That's what that is. I do, I listen to a lot of rap music, uh, for sure. Uh, I know you can um, uh, one of my uh, favorite rap albums that came out this past year is by an artist called E-40. And he has this line in his album uh, that's my favorite thing I've heard. His first line in his song is, Booty bigger than a Prius! <laughs> Which is fucking great, right? Like, all this time, rappers have just been concerned with the size of women's asses, but now they're starting to care about gas emissions. <laughs> Which is great, you guys. Wait until they start caring about fuel economy. Um, but being a parent is pretty rad. You get to witness like a lot of other parents, like shitty parents. You know what I mean? Like there's shitty parents out there for sure. Here's an example. I was in a park uh, in the summertime, and uh, this woman yelled at her kid. She said, "Hey, finish your Red Bull and go fish with your sister." <laughs> Which I don't know if you guys are like me, but when you're taking up in a relaxing activity like fishing, you like to be jacked the fuck up on Red Bull. <laughs> Just waiting for this woman to be like, all right, and hurry up, because we've got Mountain Dew Puzzle Night, and i got to get up for cocaine yoga in the morning. <laughs> I, uh, I think there's, like, uh, I, I, I like music. Do you guys like music? You guys like music? Yeah, obviously, I like rap music. I also collect records. Memphis is a great city for, like, music and collecting records. Yeah, give it up. Give it up for yourselves. I don't have a joke, I was just complimenting you guys. Now. <laughs> One of my favorite records is by uh, Carly Simon. Uh, you guys know the song, You're So Vain? Do you know that song? It's about some like total cool dude walking into a party, right? It's like, you walked in to the party like you were walking onto a yacht. <laughs> Only she sings it all shitty. That song's about, like, Warren Beatty or somebody walking into a party and looking really cool, you know what I mean? But have any of you guys ever actually tried to get onto a boat? <laughs> like, it's seriously fucking hard. <laughs> like, this dude just walking into the party like, hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up? I'm in the party now. How are you guys doing? <laughs> All right, I'm Ryan Mason. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a good night. Ryan Mason, ladies and gentlemen, one more hand for all the comics you saw tonight.